Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about mechanics based on your proximity to the opponent, including the phenomenon you're trying to have occur and a flash mechanic, among other things, to make it happen. If you remember the defense of ultimates, I briefly mentioned that if you instantly ult backwards and the enemy falls, you create a line between Z and the ultimate shadow which your enemy is in, making it easy to hit a double shuriken throw. This is what we'll call the cross, because I love naming things. If you're in this situation, you'll generally win the trade, so let's take a look at why and how the circumstances can change. The mechanic I wanted to bring up today was the one shown in this clip. Since your ultimate makes you travel to your target, if you don't have, the, have a W available to disengage, you need to flash to create distance. This creates about the same distance as ulting from medium range using a defensive ultimate, but this situation is more beneficial as you have a distance to the enemy and an unused shadow jump. This forces the enemy to make either one of two incorrect choices. Go for you, or go for your shadow. The only choice they can really make is to go for you, and at this point you can simply walk backwards after hitting a double shuriken and use ultimate to jump back, seeing as the ultimate shadow jump has a much larger range than either W or flash. This situation is ex extremely beneficial for Zed as it creates the cross and the two incorrect choices. Although, this is not to discredit the defensive ultimate or the line, as all three of these mechanics create a good situation for hitting two shurikens, and lets you stay out of danger's range. But, each one, of, each one spends a different amount of resources for it, and as a result have different follow-up actions. But it's worth noting that an unplaced W still has a travel time before you can jump to it, and while you sacrifice versatility for speed with a placed shadow, most of the time it's better to have them out in play, as you can jump instantly to them, and use them for extra spells. Anyway, I hope this lesson was useful. I have a lot of videos to make right now, and I hope I can keep up. If you want to see more lessons, just check out the links on the screen, or go to my channel. I'll also be streaming as much as I can during the evenings. Thanks for watching.